Hello, my name is Gerardo Gioretta, Qualcomm Head of 5G Infrastructure Business and Product Management Team. I'm pleased to join the Quad Open Run Showcase today to share updates on Qualcomm 5G Infrastructure 2.0 solution and to talk about our commercial partnership across the Quad and globally. A few months ago, Qualcomm has introduced the 5G DU X100 accelerator card. This will accelerate the cellular ecosystem transition towards open and virtualized radio access network by offering a high performance, low latency, and power efficient turnkey solution. This card seamlessly plugs into standard commercial off the shelf server COTS to offload CPU from latest intensive and compute intensive 5G function, such as beamforming, channel coding, and massive MIMO computation, all needed for high capacity deployment. 5G DUX100 will significantly enhance open and virtualized network operator deployments by increasing performance, reducing the number of CPU and cores required, and reducing power consumption and allow for enhanced user experience to consumer. This card will basically turn data center into high performance and energy efficient 5G infrastructure. There is a need and space for innovation in the area of open freedom. Qualcomm is well positioned to lead in this space, building on our leadership and expertise in the radio. Qualcomm has a complete solution from small cell to macro cell. Our solution can integrate both millimeter wave and sub six with global band support, which means they can be used by vendors and operators for any kind of deployment we may encounter in the future. Our solution provides a comprehensive open RAM foundation and a platform to deploy innovative, high performance, virtualized, and disaggregated 5G networks at commercial scale. One of the key benefits that is talked about in the history is cost saving. Well, recent studies are showing that up to 40% saving in CAPEX and 35% in OPEX saving. This is significant saving. Qualcomm has close relationship with many global operators and ecosystem players. We continue to work across the ecosystem to drive global 5G open eventualized run growth. For example, on the EVO Mobile Congress, on the EVO Mobile Congress, we jointly announced plans for Raptor Mobile and Qualcomm technology to collaborate to develop a next generation 5G radio unit with massive MIMO capabilities and distributed unit to use. Additionally, Qualcomm and HP recently announced plans to collaborate to deliver the new 5G distributed units powered by Qualcomm Technologies inline accelerator card, the Qualcomm X100 5G run. These are real world examples of the readiness of this technology. We are also proudly working collaborating with the engineering team of NEC, Fujitsu, Marvenir, Ertel, and many others. There is a perception that because Open Run involves multiple vendors, it increases risks. In reality, existing networks already comprise of subcomponents for multiple vendors. Open does not mean accessible to anyone. It only means that the spec of the interface is published and connecting to that interface still requires gaining access to it. In addition, auditing closed network for security breaches is difficult. In contrast, open run and open networks allow for the deployment of proving cutting edge security systems that examine the behavior of the various subcomponent and use AI to detect breaches. Qualcomm is a supporter of the Quad's work on open run collaborative effort to stimulate large-scale commercial deployment and private network is essential. We call for continued high-level collaboration statements by the government leaders, joint funding projects, including infrastructure and test labs alongside collaborative feasibility studies for joint projects. Thank you very much for your time.